Hello, my name is Brandon and I'm here with Unreal Labs. Today we're gonna to be showing you something that's not necessarily technical based, but if you're doing any kind of video editing work or photo editing work, you are going to need at one point or another to have to crop a subject out of a particular picture or photograph. And I get this question a lot online, so I thought I would put together a quick video here to show what you wanna do and how to do it and just the right way to go about it. And the first thing that you wanna do when you're looking to crop a subject out of the photo, and in this case, we're gonna use Master Chief from the Halo series, is you wanna get a high definition photograph. You don't want low res. So as you can see here on my screen, we have this Master Chief collection photo over here, which is only 800 by 450. It's not very big. It's going to be very hard to crop out this subject in the foreground with the exception of us just hand painting in. And I'm trying to give you guys the fast quick steps here, not the long steps of having to paint around all these edges to bring this guy out of the forefront. What you'd want instead is more of a picture like this one, 1920 by 1080, high res here. This one's going to pull right out. And so let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I've opened both of the two images that we have in Photoshop to illustrate this point about size because that's a big part where people get themselves caught up in and trying to crop these things out. So for instance here we want to crop out Master Chief in the foreground. We're going to take the easy steps that Photoshop has to present in order to get this done. You first go up to select on the main overhead selection items. Come down here to select and mask. Just going to give this little bit of an overlay look to it here for a second. You're then going to go hit select subject. And as we can see, and as I predicted before, because of the small image, it, it can't quite pull our Mr. Chief here out of the foreground. And so that means you'd have to go through here on these kind of images and hand fix this stuff. And so what that means is you'd use this side menu here to either try to locate by color. So if uh, you did this one, you'd want to adjust your brush size down because we have a smaller image. You got plus and minus. So we're trying to plus because we want to add onto the legs. But you can see here again, it's becoming a little bit confused by the background, right? Even though I'm clicking on his legs, it can't quite pull out the legs without starting to pull some of the background into the forefront as well. So this means you'd have to come down to the third selection here, which is more of the exacting tool and minus off. And you'd have to hand go through here and try to clear all of this off by hand and then pull him out in that way. This is arduous. You don't want to do this. I would highly recommend instead finding high res pictures when you want to do this type of thing. And pictures are getting higher and higher res. These are the ones you want to gravitate towards. Let me show you what I mean. Because when we go to the high res image, and I'll hit save here to make this take. But when we go to my high res image tab, and I go to the same steps, this is just a crop an image out in the foreground, select, select and mask, select subject, and watch this. Clean, right? You can see this all the way through that this has cropped him out completely. And so we like that, we wanna keep that. So your next step is going to be Control S, which is gonna save the image. It's gonna ask if you wanna accept that, and you do because that looks good, no further modifications. I recommend keeping the quality up to maximum here. So just hit OK through that. Now you're gonna copy and pull this image out. So you're gonna hit Control Cut, which pulls him out and you can see how nice of a clean cut that was. A couple of images here, but for the most part, pretty good. And again, this is because we have a nice high res image. Now you're going to go control in, control new, select just the standard uh, you know, option they give you. You can certainly mess around with this by increasing the size if you want, but just take the clipboard that it gives you as the default option I'd recommend. Now you're going to hit control V, which is pasting the image into this new section that we've created. But you wanna still take this further because if you're trying to take this image and bring it into, let's say, Adobe Pro Premiere, it's gonna have a white background if you don't do one final step before we export it. And that's gonna be over here on the right side where you remove the background. Now we have a transparent image in the background. Master Chief's all cut out there nicely. We chose a high res image, so it was an easier cut. You had to spend less time to get it done rather than that hand drawing in technique that you used to have to do on some of these low res images. And so from here, you're gonna go over, you're going to export the image, export as PNG, save it as that, and it's just that simple.